Wayne Angel now runs his own consulting firm. He's in Irvine, California, and joins us this morning. Welcome to In Business. Uh, Morgan Stanley says we're dangerously close to a recession. Why are they wrong? Well, they're wrong because uh, interest rates rising have been a problem in regard to pinpointing the beginning and onset of a recession. A recession is really a period of inventory liquidation. And inventory liquidation occurs when the yield curve reverses and short rates are higher than long rates. And of course, we're not any ways close to that. Uh, we have extreme amount of liquidity at the short end. And so I think people are, are, are getting a little ahead of themselves in regard to uh, expecting that we will enter into a double dip uh, in, in a recession. And I understand the argument about the inversion of the yield curve typically forecasting or indicating a, a recession may be ahead. But given the amount of possible distortion that's in there in terms of Fed purchases of Treasuries, in terms of just uh, a global flight to safety. Don't you think that perhaps uh, the, the Treasury market isn't behaving uh, in the way it has in the past? <clears throat> well, I, I, I would not agree with that. It seems to me that the Treasury market is primarily moved because of the actions the Federal Reserve has taken. And those actions the Federal Reserve has taken have certainly uh, increased the U.S. price level. The U.S. price level is higher and will be higher than it otherwise would be, and and that it, and that will eventually give us a turnaround in housing prices. We're already getting a run up in agriculture land and other land prices are moving higher. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the, the Fed, uh, the Fed has succeeded in getting a higher price level, and and, and that's going to show through in houses. Uh, but it's about time that we go back and reverse Paulson's actions in regard to cratering Fannie and Freddie. Well, let me ask you about that because, I mean, existing home sales today showed more pain for those consumers who can't sell their homes. But do you think that it would be right for the Fed to go in and once again purchase more mortgage-backed securities? Or do you need to see some other uh, kind of government presence uh, in the mortgage market. Margaret, it is far less risky uh, to put capital in to Freddie and Fannie and to have them then attract private capital and, and, and really have a wealth capitalized Freddie and Fannie uh, and have them get out there and, and, and make commitments on loans that will free up bank assets because if Freddie and Fannie are out there willing to take those mortgages on, then all of a sudden the banking system has a lot more liquidity and, and we'll see a tremendous turnaround uh, in regard to lending. Uh, Wayne, you say we're not headed towards a recession here in the U.S., but this is a global economy right now and you are seeing panic in Europe. You are seeing economic contraction in Europe. Why don't you think that will spill over to the U.S.? Well, Margaret, it does spill over to the U.S. That is, our growth rate uh, is going to be lower than it otherwise would be. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that the dollar is a very attractive, uh, maybe undervalued currency. And U.S. stocks uh, worldwide are very, very attractive. And we have a very, very high yield. And we have the prospects of increased earnings. So. Who knows, we might find an inflow of capital coming into the United States that would boost the dollar and, uh, and, and maybe that would uh, slow down the effect. But, uh, but we, don't go, we don't go into recession solely because of what happens in Europe. Right, but what we're talking about is that of that fiscal issue in Europe becoming a financial one. I want to quickly play for you a soundbite from Neil Kashkar. You're in the TARP fund uh, here in the U.S. He's now at PIMCO. Uh, strong words yesterday. Give me, give me your perspective on what he has to say here. 
they are delaying and denying as long as possible because the medicine to actually put out this crisis tastes so bad. So they want to delay taking the medicine and take as little as possible just to try to stabilize things. And that means that they're always behind, always trying to play catch up, and the crisis is always getting worse. He's talking about a possibility of Germany bailing out the ECB. Uh, what does that sound like to you? Well, I would agree with what he has to say about Europe, but if that criticism takes place to the ECB, uh, then he ought to give far different scores to Chairman Bernanke and the Federal Reserve because no one could accuse them of being behind the curve and, and, and falling behind. Yeah, Wayne, it is uh, great to get your perspective. It's, it's good to hear that you don't think we're headed towards a recession when that uh, worry is weighing on us in today's trading session today.